Hello, 오늘은 Paul and Lars라는 책을 한번 읽어볼게요. 자, Paul and Lars. 어, 이 둘이 친구 같아 보이죠? 한번 볼게요. This is Paul. She lives alone in the Arctic where it's nice and cold. Paul. 여기 어린아이가 등장했어요. Well, mostly, stop melting. It gets lonely out here on her own, but she's gained some important life skills, not to mention the wonders it's done for her imagination. Hello. Still, some real company would be nice. Suddenly, Poe felt a rumbling, then a bang, bang, bang. Huh? Crash! Poe's home rattled and came tumbling down. <gasps> 집이 다 무너졌, 무너졌대요. As the snow settled, she saw a big shadow approach her, and there he was. <gasps> 이큰 그림자가 나타났대요. 이게 뭘까요? This is Lars. He also lives alone in the Arctic. Lars is big and very hangry. You see, he's uh, not the best hunter, and food up here is harder and harder to find these days. 자, 여기 새로 등장한 인물, Lars입니다. 이 녀석도 혼자, 혼자 살고 있대요. He's got a feeling this might be his lucky day, though. Or maybe not. <gasps> Lars had never met such a feisty little creature before. He decided she wasn't worth his energy. Hey, what about my home? You can't just leave. Come back, Poe shouted. Lars ignored her and continued walking away. But then Poe used the magic word. Food! I'll get you food if you rebuild my home. 집을 이렇게 무너뜨리고 가면 어떡해? 이제 포우가 화났어요. 그래서 음식, food, 먹을 것을 줄게. 우리 집을 다시 만들어줘. And just like that, the deal was struck. 둘이 이제 계약을 했어요. Deal. Okay, so he's not the best builder either. Lars' frustration and hunger continued to grow. And this did his suspicions of Poe, could she really be a better hunter than him? Something smelled fishy to him. 자, 이게 집도 잘못 만들고 있고 이제 의심하기 시작했어요, Lars는. 아, 걔가 과연 나의 먹이, 어, 먹을 것을... 사냥할 수 있을까? Surprise! I'm a girl of my word, Poe said. Now you need to keep yours. Crick, crick, crick. But all of a sudden, crack! <gasps> 이렇게 고기를 많아, 많이 잡았는데, crack! 어떻게 됐어요? <gasps> 땅이 이렇게 갈라졌어요. Oh no! Lars eyed the fish, a glorious feast all to himself. Maybe it was his lucky day. Help! Lars thought it over. Splash! The giant polar bear burst out of the water, crattling Poe. Thank you, she said. For a second, I thought you were going to take off with the food and just leave me there. 이 여자아이를 구해줬어요. Well, Fluffy, let's clean this mess up. Lars sighed. The name's Lars. Poe's jaw dropped. You can talk? Oh, no. How old are you? What's your favorite color? How much do you weigh? Are you endangered? What are your thoughts on the melting ice caps? 이제 이 곰도 말을 할수 있다는 걸 알게 되었어요. 그래서 포이 여자아이가 여러 질문들을 하고 있죠. 
Before they knew it, they were finished rebuilding Poe's home. Poe marveled at their hard work. Can we eat now? Lars asked. 자 이렇게 둘이 이렇게 어, 힘을 합쳐서 드디어 집을 완성했어요. 와우. <웃음> Together they feasted by the fire. Poe happy to have company. Lars happy to have a full belly. Both feeling a warmth inside their hearts. A warmth very different from the fire in front of them. It was a feeling unfamiliar to Lars and he liked it. For a second, he had forgotten the harsh conditions of the Arctic. He thought maybe it isn't so bad out here after all. 자, 둘이 이렇게 같이 먹고 따뜻하게 불도 피우고 음, 뭔가 둘만의 그런 우정, 우정이 쌓기 시작했어요. Now, life's still rough. Okay. 오늘은 여기까지. 어, 또 다음 책에서 또 만나요. Thank you.